In the 1820s, there were plenty of recipes available teaching people how to make their own butter, and this is how they were taught to make it. They started by pouring the cream into the churn. Then they would put on the lid and move the handle to churn the cream into butter. A barrel churn was considered best, but a small upright churn would do when there were only one or two cows. The cream gets thicker the more you churn. Eventually, the butter will separate from the fluid buttermilk and gather into a lump. When this happens, it will be more difficult to move the handle. Once the butter has reached this point, the churning is done. At this point, they would remove the butter and buttermilk from the churn using a wooden utensil and put the butter into a bowl where the butter could be separated from the buttermilk using cheesecloth. Then they needed to wash all of the buttermilk from the butter, or else the butter would not keep. They washed the butter by spreading the butter in a tub with water. The water will be poured off and replaced with fresh water until the water stays clear, indicating all of the buttermilk is gone. Butter was often washed using a flat wooden utensil. It is important not to use your hands to wash the butter, because the heat from your hands can damage it. They will then get a pitcher of cold water to pour into a bowl that they could put the butter molds in. They would also get cold water to pour onto the butter. One way they would mold butter uses a wooden pattern. They would start by working the butter into a ball, then they would get a plate to put the butter on. The wooden print would be smacked onto the butter. Then the sides would be trimmed up along the wood. Boxwood molds also need to be soaked in cold water before using. The butter is mashed into the mold and then flattened using a wooden utensil. After removing the butter from the mold, they would have a block of butter.
After the butter was molded, all there was left to do was clean up.